Hey, you man, welcome to the Zoom. Got some questions for you. We'll start off with Travis Brown from the Bryan College Station Eagle. Hey, man, I know uh, Tarleton was another game that y'all didn't have a great shooting percentage, but you were able to get to the line to kind of negate that. What was different about this game that kind of helped, that prevented y'all from getting fouled and, and getting those points at, at the free throw line? Um, we weren't disciplined in our execution. Um, we weren't disciplined in how we operate and how we execute on a daily basis. Um, uh, it was a bad night. Uh, we struggled a lot being disciplined on how we we uh, how we move the ball on offense, how we attack the ball on offense, and uh, not being disciplined uh, ended up the result happening. Did you did you feel like you were some maybe sometimes on an island a little bit with that their their big man in the middle and and because y'all are caught in rotation, maybe didn't have uh, some, some of that kind of help in the post? Uh, no. Uh, at the end of the day, we have to look back. Uh, can't take this back. Uh, 30 years from now, 60 years from now, there was the score. It's always going to remain the same. Um, so it's not more looking at uh, if we were on an island, but how so we could get better. Um, defensively, uh, we were not locked in. Uh, we did not execute our game plan. Uh, and that's something we got to get better at. And then what was the, what was the message Buzz gave y'all after this kind of game and as y'all kind of bounced back after this kind of performance? Uh, just got to find out how we can get better and how we can improve. Um, this message not going to be, uh, the message today is not going to be a different message from uh, another team that if we happen to lose from. Um, we just always got to look positive and um, find ways to get better. Uh, he emphasized uh, what we can do, what we can change uh, to get better tomorrow. So so that's what we got to do. Thanks. All right, next up is Chip Howard, and then we'll finish with Tyler Shaw. Hey, man, I know you guys emphasize turnovers. What was the biggest issue, do you think, with turning the ball over today? Uh, live ball turnovers killed us. Uh, live ball turnovers led to transition points. Uh, Transition points leads to easy baskets for them. Um, and throughout the course of the game, each possession, we have a live ball turnover that kills us. Uh, you cannot have a live ball turnover against a team like TCU. Uh, they took, they did a great job of taking advantage of our mistakes and I credit them, but moving forward, we got to be more disciplined on offense and, and value each possession. Given this was the this was the best team you have seen so far in the four games you played, what did you find out about your team that you need to work on the most? What what do you think they exposed uh, as your weaknesses? Um, our identity. We got to start back from day one, uh, look back, and start to understand that what we thought we were as a team uh, in reality, there's we have far more space to improve. Um, our identity, we are known as a team that, that fights every single possession, every single minute, every single second of the game. Uh, today, we did not do that, but this is exciting. Um, I find this exciting because now, as we go back to practice, as we head back to College Station, we get to find our why and find our why. Uh, it's not gonna be fun. Um, it's not gonna be easy. But I'm excited about it because as a team, we have so much room to improve. And and I'm happy this kind of happened now because down the road, we're going to look back and realize that what happened that day is only going to make us better. Are, are you glad to uh, have a, a game, a quick turnaround on Tuesday to kind of get this one behind you? Um, I mean, uh. I'm blessed to play uh, in any game we play. Um, it's, it's a blessing to, to play today and Tuesday and the next game after that. Um, but I'm even more blessed to even have the chance to play. Uh, I'm looking forward to practice more so than the game because in practice, um, the truth comes out. Uh, the truth came out in the game as well, but in practice, we could we could look back and find out the reasoning behind what's happening right now. Thank you. Yeah. All right, we'll finish up with Tyler Shaw from KBTX. Emmanuel, kind of going off that, uh, what do you want to see as a team on Tuesday um, that I guess would prove to 
to you and and the guys that you're you know back on the right track um i want to see a team that's together a team that that's willing to sacrifice one another uh for the for the better purpose of the team um i want to see a team that fights uh, i want to see a, a team that talks that communicates um and that just listens to our coach and executes our game plan uh the team on Tuesday I want to see is the team that we strive to be. Um, but we cannot be that team unless we strive to be that team in practice. So starting tonight, not tomorrow, not not the day after, but tonight, how we talk, how we communicate with each other, with each other um, that's going to help us be the team we want to be on Tuesday. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, E-Man. Appreciate you. Good job with the message.